one, come on to the Minecraft found Jimmy Swift skills will drive you wild From a treehouse to a city bank It's the Minecraft Files all day Hi, That was a good one, I like that one a lot Hey, what's going on, Switchers? It's Jimmy Sophia, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Files. This is episode 41 in season 6, and it's the day after Halloween. Happy November, everybody. It's November 1st, and uh, I am... Well, you guys are watching this on Friday, but I have already left for Minecon. Minecon is this weekend in Orlando, Florida, and I am so pumped and so excited. And check it out, because I'm going, I got the brand new Minecon cape, which I'm not going to lie, I don't like as much as the original one. And even the one that they did last year, I didn't go to the Minecon last year, but this cape isn't really my favorite, but I am rocking it because it matches my new little Halloween costume that I'm wearing uh, of this little stupid little pumpkin thing <laughs> that I am. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a piston on a green cape and it kind of looks like, it looks like a face. I don't really know. I think it could have been better, but in any case, I am very glad to have one. And now I have two capes to choose from on the uh, Minecraft uh, webpage when I log in. So that's pretty nice, uh, that's pretty neat. But um, anyways, you guys, welcome to a brand new episode of the Minecraft Files. I'm so, so just, I, uh, I'm in so much thanks right now for you guys and all the support you left on yesterday's episode, the very, very special Halloween, uh, the special Halloween edition of the Minecraft Files, that's what I called it. And uh, I definitely put a lot of time and effort into that, you guys. Uh, spent numerous hours working on that yesterday. And I hope you all had a wonderful and safe Halloween and hope you had a good time. Now, if you missed that episode, you gotta go back and watch it because we now have a nether star. Now, I know I didn't get this nether star legit. Uh, if you have a brain, you probably realize that I planned out that whole episode. Sorry to burst your bubble. But there was something that I wanna do with the nether star and that is set up a beacon. Now, that doesn't discourage us from at some point in this season, getting a nether star legit. I would love to get a nether star legit and actually go ahead and like, the like actually go and get three wither skulls from the nether. Um, I have one right here, we have one. You need three before you can fight the wither boss and uh, just hope you don't die against it. So I will definitely need some really beast armor, some high level enchants, um, a bunch of potions and everything basically that I got from um, used in the episode yesterday. But what I want to be doing today actually is setting up a beacon and we have a bunch of iron blocks here. Um, and so what I want to do is go ahead and let's take some of these and make a couple more. And I want to set a beacon up in our house. I don't know, I just think that'd be really, really cool. Um, and then on Monday, well Monday's episode, I'm not sure if there's gonna be an episode on Monday or not. Uh, the reason for that is that I'm traveling back from Orlando on Monday and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough time. Um, like, I don't, I, I don't think I'm gonna be getting home in time to do an episode and I don't have time on the front end here to record an episode. So if anything, if there is no episode on Monday, there will be one on Tuesday. So do not worry, but I'm trying to think of a good spot that I want to put the beacon that's sort of like, it's kind of like out of the way, but it's also going to give us the buff. So what we need to do first is actually set up the beacon and build the beacon. And luckily I do have three pieces of obsidian left and we need glass. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw the nether star in the middle here. We're going to throw the obsidian in the, in the bottom and uh, there, but actually before we do this, I want to throw the nether star like a freaking, like a ninja star. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and throw this sucker up in here. <laughs> and uh, I really wish you could throw those. I wish they could be like a, a reusable weapon. That'd be really cool. So here we go, we have a beacon and I really want to build one of these legit sometime. That would be really kind of amazing. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it would be really cool. And uh, oh, we need to also uh, at some point de-Halloween our house since we have Halloweened it to the max, and I need more pumpkin pie, you guys. I need more. I need more pumpkin pie because it tastes so good. 16 pieces of pumpkin pie. That sounds good to me, baby. And we've got the pumpkin patch going now too, so that's awesome. Um, let's put this bread away. There we go. We're gonna be feasting on more pumpkin pie because it's still fall, you guys. It's still fall. Thanksgiving is coming up. That's exciting. Um, all right, so what I wanna do here today is we're gonna test out the beacon and we're gonna test it out before we build it for reals and what I know for sure is that the the beacon itself 
it comes alive in a pattern like this. This is like the low level beacon, I think. Yep, there it goes. There's the low level beacon. If you right click on the beacon, you have some options and we have the option of speed and haste. Now, if I build a little bit higher, we get resistance and jump boost. And if I build even higher, you get strength, um, the option of strength. And if you build even higher, which is what I would love to achieve, we need a lot of blocks for that. You get, you can do regeneration. That'd be really cool to like have my house be a home base where I can regenerate. There's always a regeneration effect on me. And it's just kind of like a, I feel like it would be a nice place, a nice thing to have um, at my home. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this. How do you, uh oh, how do, okay, good. Whew. I was like, don't break, please don't break. I was like, how, did, how does one destroy one of these? Now, if I go a little bit bigger like this, hopefully I have enough blocks for this. I'm just testing things out right now. Oh my gosh. We may run out. Yep, we're gonna run out. Okay, I need to, oh my gosh. Can I not go any bigger than that? Yikes. Speed and haste, that's it. <laughs> I mean, speed's cool, but come on. I want more. I want more, dear guys. I think we're gonna have to get some more iron, honestly. That's not good. Unless, well, hold on. Unless you can maybe combine blocks of gold with blocks of iron. Let's try it. I don't know. I've never I've never done this beacon thing before. Uh, and I'm very excited about testing it out. Testing the waters. Testing the waters of the beacons. Uh, I think it's I think I mean I I, mean, I think it has to be like any like stone or not stone, any ore. Any type of ore. Let's try this. See if this works. It'll be ugly. Oh, hey, it worked. That's cool. And then we can get jump boost and or resistance. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I think this is kind of like the max we're gonna get here. And I'm not gonna build the beacon here. I just wanted an open space to test this out. I wanna build it somewhere inside my home. Uh, oh, I wanna do, I do wanna test something out though. If you put a block here above it, it does get rid of the beam. And I, the other reason I want the beam for the beacon is uh, to locate my house. Like, actually I wanna test this out again. We're doing a lot of beacon testing today. I may call this episode beacon testing just because that is kind of like what we're doing here. If I want to see how far away I have to be before I see this like actual beacon. Um, so we'll go way out here because it may be an easier way also of locating our own house, which would be kind of cool. All right, stars, sprint, my friend, sprint. Um, and yeah, for those of you wondering and getting upset at the last episode about how I destroyed my farm and how stars died and everybody died or whatever, Melvin was gone, nope. It was just a dream. It was just a dream last episode. Don't worry. Or was it? Dun dun dun. Happy Halloween. All right, I'm gonna head out here. This terrain is not generating. Does not want to generate today at all. I feel like my nose is a bit plugged up. I feel a little bit nasally today. A little nasally. Wow, that beacon, you guys, can be seen from a long way away. Oh, that's sick. Very cool. All right, let's ride back. Um, so that's good. I know you can still see the uh, the windmill there, but it looks like the beacon can be seen from far away Which is actually quite awesome. Uh, oops. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Come on stars ride buddy ride 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 So all right, so that's good news So I I know for sure that I want the beacon beam to be unobstructed by a roof I don't want there to be a roof above this beacon beam. No, sir It's gonna help me find my house in times of trouble. Okay, freaking these trees, I gotta start getting rid of some of these. These are way, it's way too cluttered around here and there's no set pathway, but I need to really carve like a pathway. We could do that one episode. Carve a path through this mountain that leads, or this mountain, this giant mountain, this hill that leads to the um, the village out there. Because I tend to frequent that. And I actually was trading with one of the guys off camera recently and he denied me. He denied me a trade. One of his trades broke down with the wheat. I was really, I was really upset because I used that when I farmed that sucker for uh, all of his um, all of his emeralds, and now he's poor. So, anyways, um, we're gonna build this inside the house, and I I'm a bit bummed because these beacons they they take a lot of they take a freaking lot of the ore blocks, like an un. 
freaking godly amount of these ore blocks. It's outrageous. Um, and we're gonna have to probably, because of this, do, uh, set up our mine, actually. Set up our mining expedition, um, in the, uh, mine shaft that's out there now, actually. Uh, we're gonna have to start setting that up and really harvesting a bunch more iron. Um, in my opinion, if you're gonna be setting up a beacon, if you're gonna be setting up a beacon, you can do it with any ore block. You can do it with emerald blocks, you can do it with iron blocks, you can do it with gold blocks, and you can do it with diamond blocks. I think the obvious choice for this one is iron blocks. Iron is way more common than emeralds, it's way more common than gold, and it's way more common than diamonds for sure. And I think anyone's an idiot if they build a beacon, um, the base of the beacon, with anything but iron blocks, because really there's there's the option for it, yes, but it's pretty much just stupid. It's, it's a waste of resources, in my opinion. They're not going anywhere, you're not using them. Like, you're, if you use the diamond blocks, you're not like using, they're not going away. You can always get them back and craft them back into diamonds. But um, just in terms of like, of like making sure you use them effectively, it's, um, I don't know, it's, uh, you should definitely, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely um, use iron blocks. Okay. So I'm actually thinking about building it up here, um, but I am not sure. What about in the silo? That could be really cool. I, it just depends on if we have enough space, which I'm not sure that we'll do, but we can investigate it here. And also I don't know the reach of the... Oh, we might have room in here, you guys. We might have room in here. Okay, we're gonna do it in here, you guys. We're gonna do it in the silo. And it's gonna be perfect because we can center it right up in the middle and it looks like there's a block like right there that we can punch out that will, the beacon will shoot right through the middle there. That's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be legit. So let me go ahead here. We're gonna climb to the top of the silo, which I haven't done in <coughs> many, many episodes. And uh, we're gonna punch a hole through here. Mm. Okay, so yep, this guy right here is coming down and this guy is coming down. And that guy is coming down. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, here we go. Here we go. Beacon time official. Beacon time. So, to do this, I'm going to actually probably get some ladders. I need some ladders. I need to go up on the inside. Uh, that way I don't break my legs trying to do this. Um, might be a little bit, a little bit easier. And I'm really hoping, guys, that the, the length of the buff lasts a while from up there. Wait. I think, yeah, I have ladders up here. That I know with the beacon, you have to be close to the beacon in order for you to get the powers of the beacon, or the buffs, basically. And I'm hoping that up in the silo up there, it's still close enough that while I'm tending to my farm, even just in my house at least, um, that it'll still work. That's what I'm really hoping for. <coughs> Excuse me, what is this coming from? Okay. So we're gonna go up here, like this. And I need to, let's place just a little bit of a platform. Oops. Let's place a little platform up here. So yeah, sorry it's taking so long to get to building here today, but um, I think it's gonna be well worth it. That is for sure. Okay, so, <clears throat> the beacon. Well, no, you know what? It doesn't have to be this high. It does not have to be this high up. I didn't realize that. The, the beam is going to shoot up through the sky regardless. The beacon itself can be close to the ground, which actually may help us in terms of the buff, um, uh, may help us in terms of the buff, like, you know, what is it? Radius or something, I guess? Uh, I don't know what to call it. <clears throat> and um, I wanted to initially fill this entire silo up with hay blocks. But, I think because of the nature of what I'm trying to do here, we're gonna fill it up just to like this high. And I'm pretty much almost there already. All right, so let's do that. And let's do this. And this can be temporary, we can cut this down. <clears throat> okay, so two blocks high from the center point will be the beacon. The beacon will be sitting on that and we're gonna build underneath this so here we go so let's do 
Um, we'll do, uh, oh, here, let's do this and this, this, uh oh, oh no, wait a minute. Am I going to be able to do this? Oh shoot. Hold on. Oh no, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this or not. <gasps> oh shoot. This is like the perfect idea. Well, we can cut out, oh crap. We can cut out a chunk. We could cut out a chunk of the silo to make room for this. See, like, this works. This definitely works. Now, yeah, we're going to have to cut out... Well, just this. Just right here. It's just going to have to be one of these guys, like... No, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Not that. It's going to have to be... Like this. Down here. Because it gets wider as at the base. So it'll be like this. Yeah, no, 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 no sweat, no sweat. We got this. Okay. We got this. Now there's gonna be a little bit of a stripe on the inside, but uh, no sweat, you guys. We got this. And just for looks, we'll put um, we'll put the uh, gold on the inside here. There we go. And like this. Oh yeah, this is gonna be sick. I am pumped for this. Woohoo! All right. There, there, and then we need to leave that open so we can get out. <laughs> okay, let's do that, like this, and boom, uh oh, there, 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 there. All right, so this should upgrade it to, wait a minute, something is missing. Something is missing, let's see. Where? What's missing here? Dang it. All right, I'm gonna go down and get these. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta figure out what's missing because I'm not sure. I didn't see those new, um, those new powers light up. At least it didn't, didn't look like it. Did those cobblestone all drop down? <clears throat> all right, I don't think those new cobble, or those new powers lit up properly. Um, oh crap, I gotta get over here. Dang it, this is freaking hard to traverse. Right, there we go. Um, oh, it was because of this. It was because of this, that's why. Duh, duh. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, so let's put those back. Everything is fine, everything is fine. Uh, okay, so now if I place this there, this there, and this here, then it should update, there we go. So perfect. All right. So here's what I want to do then, because we don't have a good way. <laughs> There's no good way of accessing this, unfortunately. Um, shoot. All right. Let me get rid of this. This episode's definitely turning out to be longer than I had planned, which is totally fine. But uh, if I wanted to ever change the power and then get down, get back down, does it break it? Does it break the power? Um, if you like break the, the pedestal that the beacon is on or I don't know, we'll test it out. We'll do a little bit more testing here today because I've got some uh, reservations about this so far. Okay, so let's do this, come up here. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make this full. And what I want is I want, um, uh, let's say jump boost. So put one in there and then you select jump boost and oh wait, regeneration is it, is regeneration a buff? No, 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 no. Okay, it just adds it to that. It'd be this, basically, this top tier would be, I think, the, these two together, or something like that. But we have a jump boost now, which is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> so now if I break this, and then repair it, will I still have the jump boost? It, yep, it looks like I do. Awesome. Okay, very cool. So now we need to now all we need to do is test it out and see how far away we can go from the beacon before we lose the jump boost. So um, 
out here it looks like we have a jump boost which is kind of cool oh my gosh this is sick <laughs> yes I can jump a little bit higher which is freaking awesome um all right let's see here over here do I still have the bu the buff uh, eight yep at the front porch we still have the buff how about right here at the intersection that looked like that just went up there it looks like we still have the buff there too oh baby this is sick okay how about out here no it looks like we are too far away to get the buff okay that's fine that's that's fine um it still gives me a little bit of a boost around the farm a little jump boost around the farm but see i don't know if i actually want the jump boost or not um there are so many other like jumping with the jump boost is it gets annoying after a while because you're not used to it you're right here look at this like boing boing <laughs> um i want to see there are other enchantments that we can get that i want to test out i think um uh resistance is kind of cool um oh i think i have to put yeah i have to put one of these in every time i want to change it though boom there we go resistance so resistance uh gives me um it'll allow me to fight mobs better but i don't really fight mobs much around the farm because i keep it well lit so i'm also looking at speed um <clears throat> regeneration is what i really want that's just so cool that would be giving like a really cool healing property to my house um i think speed might be the best bet uh either speed or jump boost in my opinion of course if i'm also mining out the basement something like haste which is going to allow me to mine faster is going to be uh of great use to me and i'll come up here and probably add that in um but i think for right now I'd like to have speed because I like going fast. I like going fast. So there we go. We've got speed boost. Um, I think it's just normal speed. It's not speed two, which if it was speed two, that'd be great. But unfortunately, it is not. Um, all right, let's do that. And we don't even need all the blocks. Um, we don't even need. We don't even need all the. If I'm using speed, I don't need the whole pedestal up there, really. But uh, let's see if, in my, if I still get it in my bedroom. If I still get it in my bedroom, we're good. Yes. Yes. That is perfect. All right. Cool. So now we've got a, a pretty legit buff going on. Um, and that's going to make things around the farm a little bit more fun. And the nice thing about this is, yeah, it's a little bit of a speed boost. But, um, you know, if I wanted to run out to the crops out there, it's eight seconds. But those eight seconds, even though I get to here and it wears off, I can still cover a bit of ground a little bit faster, which is quite nice. Um, coming back, however, it's a different story, but uh, it's pretty nice. I, I think this is really cool. This actually gives a really awesome look to our farm. Uh, how this beacon is now coming out of the silo. That's so legit. Um, and I really, like I said, you guys, I would love to get a... Uh, there it goes, it just kicked in. I would really love to get a... Um, uh, the the Kill the Wither, like, legit in this, in this season, because that would be great. And uh, what's actually really cool, too is we are after this episode we're three episodes away from having more episodes in season six than season five so that's pretty crazy there's a witch over oh gosh there's a witch over here you guys let's kill this witch well, if i had resistance that would be good let me get that uh bow though that i have that sick bow that i got out of the ocean all right witch fight me oh you're dead what did you drop oh i thought that was enchanted Sugar. I was like, are you serious? That was crazy for a moment. All right, we got some uh, glowstone dust and some sugar from that witch. That's kind of cool. I want to kill some more witches too now that they spawn at night. They drop cool little trinkets and items and fun stuff like that. That could be kind of neat. Um, if you get in a real brawl with them though, they can be pretty difficult. Um, but I definitely want to start working more, you guys, on uh, upping my armor, um, getting better diamond armor, and really actually kind of working towards that wither boss. I think... Uh, that, well that and we have an eye of ender too so we can actually go find a stronghold as well so i'd love to start really getting into sort of more of the nitty-gritty like um boss type things in minecraft which i've honestly never done before in survival minecraft so if you guys are cool with that send me some suggestions my way um for everything but yeah we've got this nice little invisible buff here invisible because the little bubbles are um a lot more invisible than if you took a speed potion but uh yeah guys this is pretty cool we got our own little beacon on our farm and um, we are starting to 
take this farm to the next level, man. We got some freaking high-tech upgrades going on here. But anyways, if you switchers enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit that like button down below. And uh, I will try my best to get an episode out on Monday, but I can't promise anything. If it's not out on Monday, it'll be out on Tuesday. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And uh, make sure you stay tuned for Minecon videos early next week, too. It should be fun. Talk to you guys later. Peace.